What's up guys, Mateo here, and today I'm gonna give you guys a comprehensive guide to one of my favorite techniques, the side triangle. Here we go, we're gonna start with my partner on his back, side control. Okay, just to quickly show you what it is and we're gonna show you how we break it down. Uh, again, we're gonna be on our side, perpendicular from our partner, where I have my partner's head and far arm trap between the legs okay from here across the legs and we can go for our choke now how can we finish from this position and I'm gonna give you guys a whole breakdown on how I actually get here and things that I can do with both arms but again I'm on top my top leg I want to be biting over the top of his shoulder here right along the tricep where my lower leg is parallel with his body second leg I want to fold the back of my knee over the shin with my lower leg, the thigh is like a pillow underneath his head. Okay, to finish, all it is is I pull the elbow and I can get a good squeeze to finish the choke here. Okay, so again, we're on the side. Pull it over, boom, and good bike, just like so, but you finish and squeeze. All right, guys, so uh, one thing that's really important when it comes to the side triangle is trapping that near arm so i just showed you guys how to actually finish the choke but uh there's that kimura that arm that's really close to me right i can use a kimura grip but i like to actually use something else and i like to use the lapel to trap my partner's arm so we'll actually start with my partner just laying on his side not completely on his back but turned towards the camera there okay so basically if we were in that side triangle position maybe i have his arm on top of my leg or not if i just have a kimura we have our kimura he's likely gonna be grabbing something, maybe his lapel, his belt, whatever. That's fine. I'm gonna secure that arm in place. So my hand that's grabbing his wrist, I'm gonna reach in front to grab whatever material I can grab. I can grab the belt, I can grab the lapel. I pull as much as I can. My hand that's looped through, some people like to go palm down to grab the lapel. I personally like to go palm up. That way I can twist and get a really tight control of his arm so he can't pull it out. Okay, so how that looks in that side triangle position. Once I get that side triangle locked, I might have the Chimura. I'll reach across to grab the lapel. And now I secure his arm in place. That way I have a free hand to then pull his elbow or his wrist, whatever you can reach. You wanna pull it towards your head to get the chill. Okay guys, so quick troubleshooting on how to tighten it and finish it up. So sometimes we get into the side triangle position and. Maybe you're squeezing, 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 and you're not getting anything out of it, right? Maybe it's just your leg is over your partner's face and you're annoying them, you're bugging them, but uh, there is a way to actually tighten it up to get a secure choke around the carotid artery. So again, if we're on that same position here, okay, maybe I have my lapels or not. Okay, cool, we fall to the side. Now, we're here. Sometimes you're squeezing and you're not getting the exact choke that you need. So what I'm gonna do is, Again, I like to trap again, I arm, I'm gonna use that lapel. I'll reach for the elbow, okay? Now this is important. I'm gonna open my legs. I open my legs, I keep my knees pinched, and I'm gonna point my toes to the floor, okay? As I do so, I go belly down, and I pull everything really tight to my hip. So I pull him really close. Now I fall back, I relock that top leg, second leg goes over, and you can finish the squeeze here, okay? So again, you just have to have the confidence to be able to keep him within the space of your legs, pull him in really close, and make sure everything is aligned over the neck and behind the neck as well. All right, guys, so there's gonna be more than one attacking options and sequences from that position. So maybe you've tried everything to try to finish that chokehold, but um, again, it's not working. That's when we switch to the other attacks, right? So again, if I'm back, on my partner here, we have the side triangle. And boom, I have the lapel. I fall to the side. Nothing is working. All right, nothing. There's absolutely nothing working. You're squeezing. You did your adjustments already. Tried to go. Boom, pull him to the side. It's not going. Okay, first option. Uh, very simply, this works sometimes, doesn't always work. But if your partner's hand is just kind of hanging out doing nothing, you could finish a far side Kimura here. Okay. Sometimes they're gonna be grabbing the belt or whatever, so it might not always happen, but that is an option if it's just sticking out, okay? What I like about this lapel control is, again, I have this arm 
pinned and I still have a free hand. So I can use this free hand to pull myself back up to focus on something else. Now, of course, I can let go of the lapel, switch to the kimura if it's there. Boom. Okay. If he happens to grab his belt, this happens all the time, right? They're, they know the kimura is coming. He's not going to give me the kimura. We're going to switch to the Tariko Plata where I step over. So I can use my hand to grab the lapel instead of my wrist. I can step over his thigh with this leg. So again, his legs are already where I want them to be. If they were standing, I would pull them to the side. I step over so my leg goes over his wrist. Now my hand posts behind his butt and I slide my pitch down, down, down. Stick a shoulder lock. So you have a really, really clear and easy way to attack different ways from that position. So again, you have the side triangle. If it doesn't work, you have those three options. You have that far side kimura on the arm that's trapped between the legs. You can sit yourself up to attack the regular kimura with the arm that's right underneath your, underneath your chest. And you have your tariko plata in case if they're grabbing the belt, you can step over the legs to attack the kimura with the legs, right? So now last option, of course, you can also take the back from there. So if we have same situation, where I have my triangle, boom, I lock the arm. Okay, maybe I already tried the, the toe hold. I sit myself up, it's not working. Very simply, you can always back step to readjust your position and switch to something else. If you can't ever finish your attacks from one position, just switch to something else because again, you don't wanna be wasting too much time and energy to open up something that may not work. So again, once you step over, you can clearly take it back get on your partner's back, get your points, get your chokes from here. Okay, so one more time. Start from the actual side triangle. Yeah, Walmart. I have the arm trapped. I sit up, I might go back to the Kimura. I back step, get my seatbelt, step over. guys so again the side triangle it's one of my favorite positions because not only is it just the chokehold there's also many other submission options and transition options that we've already talked about right so yes i will say for the chokehold for the triangle choke itself it's going to be much easier to do if you have longer legs and maybe against somebody who's about your size right um but i think overall the position is very versatile because even though you may not be able to submit somebody from the triangle itself, you can use it as a way to turn your partner over, which we'll get into in a bit when we go into how we get there. And you can use those other submission options from that side triangle position itself. So again, it's very broad in terms of who can use it. It's just, yes, the triangle itself will be mainly for people with longer legs, just like any other triangle. So I encourage you guys to practice the entry and, and don't get frustrated if you feel like you can't get the choke. Again. The adjustment part is the trickiest part. Once you get there, learning how to finish it does take a little bit of time and um, practice. So again, just focus on the details that I had explained when it comes to opening the legs, keeping everything pinched, pulling your partner in really tight. And you'll find that eventually you're gonna be able to get a good squeeze and you'll start tapping people just from the choke itself. But again, it's not the end of the world. You still have those other submission options. So. Uh, next up, now we're going to go over all of the ways that I love to get in this position. And you can get there from many different ways that your partner doesn't really expect. And this is why I like it so much because if you compare this to the regular triangle that we classically learned first day in Jiu Jitsu, over time people expect the triangle. I almost don't submit any black belts from the front triangle anymore who are really good because uh, Again, it, it's so easy to see it coming. But with this version of the triangle, I use this one a lot because it's so sneaky and people don't necessarily expect it as much as they would with the classic triangle. So 
here we go now we're going to go over the ways that i like to set this up and hunt it down all right guys option number one so the first two variations of the side triangle and how we set it up i actually learned this uh in my judo club back in like 2010 as like a white belt this is actually the first triangle that you learn in judo school judo school judo class um because it's very common they use this to turn the partner over in order to get a pin because you can win by pin in judo matches uh but it's a very effective choke as we've already explained so we're going to start again from the single leg position where my partner is he's on the single leg and we're in a sprawl here right so the first option we're going to go with the classic uh, version of the side triangle where he's on the single leg his head's between the legs what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach in with a tight waist okay I can grab the skirt on the gi or just grab whatever material you can get with that hand that you that reaches underneath the belly okay as I do this as well I'm gonna step this free leg over in between my partner's knee and elbow here okay once I step over now I keep my heel and my knee connected I'm gonna roll him to the side. And this tight waist grip helps a lot because this tight waist with the gi grip is like a rope that's gonna pull him to the side. So as I turn and fall to the side, that's when I can roll him over. I lock that top leg in place, and then I can secure my choke. It's already tight there, you see. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect just yet in the beginning. I get the lock that I can, that's fine. Then I'm gonna secure the Kimura grip to get my lapel grip. So once I secure the Kimura, usually they're going to grab something because I could still attack the Kimura here too. Okay, if he's not doing anything, I can easily roll up to my elbow and finish the Kimura here. So again, they're going to grab the belt, whatever they grab. I reach across, grab the lapel, that thought to pull the elbow, pinch my knees, belt down, bite the top leg again, and I can see the end of the curve. Bad. Again, that's a different angle. Knee down on the single leg, I reach down a knee, grab the cert, step over, top leg, bites, we lock, I get my Kimura grip, I reach for the lapel, boom, big one. I've had it. It works. <laughs> <laughs> so option number two same entry now we're going to go into the reverse side triangle setup so same thing he goes in on the single leg we go on this side here uh, now depending on the side that he leans towards okay i like to go with the classic way if maybe he's going to start to spin towards my back that way i can set it and go in this direction here okay but sometimes they're not necessarily leaning there and I can't turn him in that direction. So I'm gonna reverse it and I'm gonna go with the reverse tight waist. So instead of my left hand that's reaching in for the tight waist, I will be uh, going in for the tight waist with the other hand like so, okay? So from here, I step in with the same leg. Now I'm gonna pull his elbow as I sit my butt to the floor here, okay? Now that bottom leg, I'm gonna pull it up as high as I can above my knee. Okay, I pull it above the knee. Now I can lock the triangle here. Okay, maybe he falls, maybe he stays on the knee still, doesn't matter. Okay, from here, it's just a simple squeeze to get the choke. If my partner stays on his knee, so back up to me. Well, and I have this lock. Sometimes it can be hard to finish. What I'm gonna do is I can still hold the waist, so grab the waist again, and I can pull him all the way over to the other side. And now we're in that exact same position as we were before. Tricep, belly down, fight, relock to finish. And of course, trap that arm as well. Okay, so once again, we're here. I'm gonna reach in for the opposite side. Okay, just grab whatever you can. I step over, hand's gonna go on the floor. I peel his elbow, fall to the side, boom, pick up that elbow, I'll grab my shake here and lock. Okay, you can get a good squeeze here. I've also seen a lot of people, and I don't personally do this, I feel like this is pretty mean, but some people actually go up and they scroll on their partner, you okay? Mm -hmm. And they go belly down, which can be kind of cranky on the neck. Otherwise, a little bit more of a nicer option. Roll them over, get them back to the position. The, the, the you can finish here, of course, check the arm if you can. Otherwise, you can finish from there. 
<laughs> Do we have uh, blue belts for this kind of stuff? <laughs> All right, guys, option three. So we're gonna go into the spinning armbar position from side control. And we're gonna do this on a couple of angles so you guys can see. But again, if we're in side control now, if my partner gives me the arm exactly like so, where his far arm is kind of reaching towards the shoulder by his legs, that gives me a good opportunity to scoop the shoulder. I can release my cross face and I pull him off the floor. Okay, once I'm here, I'm gonna step over the head just like I would for the armbar. All right, so I step over the head. Now, before we change positions, I'll show you an important detail, but I'm gonna sit my butt to the floor, my leg that stays across the head. I want it under the far armpit here, okay? Again, they'll usually be holding his hands together for defending the arm, he doesn't wanna get arm barred, so not a problem. I might even be trying to go for the arm bar from this position. Because my leg isn't necessarily across his head, they're gonna to try to sit up a lot of times. As he sits up, that's when I shoot that bottom leg through, and I can set up my triangle from here. Okay, same thing, I wrap up that hand, boom. And get the switch. We're here, he gives me this arm. I pull him off the floor. I'm not gonna, actually, I'm gonna step over the head first. Now this is important. I don't wanna rotate my foot here. If I rotate the foot here, I'll get the classic armbar, which is great. You have your classic armbar. But if I step over, I keep my foot here in place. That way when I pivot my hips, my foot stays underneath the armpit. So that way when I attack the arm, boom, he's trying to sit up. Maybe I lean towards the legs intentionally, so that way I let him sit up and I can slip my leg through to get the triangles. And again, same thing, I grab the lapel, pull the elbow, little belly down, big bite, and I sweet chip. It's one of my favorite options. And of course, you can do this also in north-south, right? If you're going for the kimura from north-south, if you just step your foot in between your partner's arm and rib cage, I can quickly demonstrate. It's very similar, it's all a very same game. If we're here in north-south, anytime you get that foot inside, same thing, you have the position. You can grab the belt, trap the arm, pull the elbow, and finish day. All right guys, so uh, option number two from side control, four overall. So we're gonna go back to side control. Now, this is gonna be in combination with uh, an inverted triangle and how that relates to the side triangle. So actually, let's turn you a little bit this way exactly. So if we're in side control, right, I might be able to sit out to the side. I pummel my hand through to pick up his arm like so. Okay, so, so I'm in my side sit out position controlling my partner. Now, I like to pin his hand between my legs, so that way I trap the arm. I'm gonna stagger my legs just a little bit so I have a good pinch on his shoulder. From here, I can lean over, pick up the head, to throw my leg over the head to trap the head and arm. So, this is the inverted triangle. I don't necessarily have the same position as I did before. I can finish here. I like to grab the arm and pull across. Same thing, I can get a good squeeze to finish. I feel like in some cases it can be awkward to finish from here just because um, just getting the right angle with the legs over the neck can be hard for some people if you don't practice it enough. But uh, if, it's, if you can't finish from here, it's not a problem. I'll hug this arm with the other hand so I look towards the legs, shoot my bottom leg through, and I can switch to the same thing, the side triangle from there. Let's that way, I can go fight the more grip, grab the lapel, boom, ten minutes. And I can finish him in. Okay, so once again, side control. I can sit out if I pull his arm. I can pull her. Pick up the head. I can sit all the way through to the other side here. It's not really tight, so again, pull the building down. Okay. Yeah, to finish that. That works. <laughs> Last option, one of my favorite options that I use from um, using the Kimura grip. Okay, so, and we can get to this position in so many different ways. Um, just to show a quick example, whatever it is, maybe I'm working in front of my partner in the open guard position. Oh, look, Navi set up. Okay, again, if I step in the middle, I can forward roll through, and we get to the T Kimura position where. 
I'm basically perpendicular behind my partner here with his head somewhat resting on my midsection. All right, so this is a great position because again, they only have one option to turn and it has to be turning towards me, right? So as he turns towards me, we have many options. We can work to take the back here, right? I can work to take the triangle from the back. I can go into, as I sit up just a little bit more, I can throw my leg over the head for the arm bar or my favorite, you reach over the head again and you go underneath this far arm if he gives it to you here. Okay, so I, I take what I can obviously get. I may not always be able to catch this every single time, but again, my leg goes over the head and underneath the far arm. And that's when I can kick my leg through to set up the same position here. Okay, again, same thing. Trap the belt over the hand or the lapel, whatever you use. Pull the elbow, sit up, tighten it, and choke from here. Cool. Okay, so again, starting from here. Exactly, I'm fighting, I'm with my partner. Boom, I slide my knee through, pummel my foot over the head and through the arm, and I shoot through to get my side triangle position. Again, I want to keep this hand really tight to his arm, grab the material, pin it, pull the elbow, and get a good squeeze to finish our choke. All right, guys, so that concludes our mini series on the side triangle. Again, give this a shot, give this position some time to practice. It's not gonna be an overnight thing where you can get the choke every single time. But again, this really is a more of a position than a submission because you have so many other options. So um, give it the time to practice. Again, work on those adjustments, go back to this video multiple times to look over those details. And again, the more you practice this, the more you're gonna see it in your training and in your competitions. Uh, because again, it's one of those positions, like I mentioned, it's, it's very unexpected for your opponent to see this triangle coming because it's so easy to just sneak your foot underneath that far arm to get that position down. So I hope you guys liked it. Please leave a, a comment, a like. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys can send me a direct message or leave a comment, uh, a question in the comments here and uh, we'll, I'll, I'll do my best to respond to you guys. But again, thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys soon. I couldn't believe all the different options you have from that position. And I started asking myself, why have I not been playing this position? And I'm just like, I get enamored by certain types of games for periods of time. Right now I'm really fascinated by X guard and all the different options. Go check out that video somewhere in the description here if you're interested in X guard. But this is probably next on my list where I'm looking at just setting up, connecting to that to that triangle. It's just it's just such a great position. I've never thought about it as a position rather than a submission. So that's really key in what you said. This is more of a position. Can you can you elaborate kind of how you came to start going on this path of discovery? Because that's definitely what, what this is. Mateo gave you a bunch of connection that he derived from playing the position. Yeah, um, and like I mentioned, when I first learned it, it was just a chokehold and a pin. But because I saw it as a pin when I first learned it, and then the chokehold came after, that's when I kind of realized, well, okay, this, this is a position because in judo, they use it as a position to hold their partner down. And then of course, you know, once you learn the chokehold and, and then you see that arm that's in front of you, now you have so many options to elaborate on. And it's funny, I actually, and there's like the Kimura too, besides the, the side triangle, the Kimura is also a position in itself as well. Like I, sure. saw, I saw a meme the other day on Instagram where it was like uh, Goku from, uh, from Dragon Ball Z, he was like firing up and the, the text said like, when you realize the Kimura is a position and not a, yeah, not a, not a submission. And it's like, you see there's a whole new world within that actual submission itself that you can transition to and from. So um, yeah, it's personally, it's one of my favorite things that I've, I use all the time. And it's like, like I mentioned, this is the, the triangle that I use the most. I don't like, I catch some people with the front triangle. It's very hard to get brown and black belts with the regular triangle nowadays because everybody sees it coming. You know, it's funny you say that because I also see about that a lot too where it's just, it almost years go in between moments from when I get caught in the front triangle anymore. And, and when I was a lower belt, that was like my arch nemesis. I always got triangle. This is something I tell my students and I have students that are going through the same 
experience I'm going with, but sometimes you, you play certain styles, certain look that, that sets yourself up to end up in triangles all the time. And then uh, you find out how to prevent triangles from happening from the front. And, and then it's not a big issue anymore. Like a lot of black belts, so you're not gonna find yourself in a triangle unless someone just so crafty with the way they set up front triangle, that does happen. Some people are specialists. And people know how to escape it very well too. This one is very difficult to escape and it's so much easier to find once you understand. I'm getting in your side triangle and it's a, it's a nightmare. I hate it, I just wanna quit and go home. But, but I will learn it, I will harness it. Thank you, Mateo, for sharing. And uh, thank you to all of you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.